Hello, 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 guys, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope that you are all well today because I am very well and I am very excited to show to you one of my Seikos. Since nowadays or during this year, the Seiko has obviously released its uh, GMT SKX style uh, watches. I think I want to jump into the bandwagon. And I would just want to show to you my Kinetic GMT. So I purchased this watch, I think a year ago, I forgot. It was uh, sold online and so I got it for a very nice price. So this is the Seiko uh, 5M85-0ACO uh, Kinetic GMT 100 meters. So this is... Uh, 43 millimeters across <clears throat> in diameter and uh, I have not seen the thickness but uh, I have not been wearing this watch often because I have not fully charged the kinetic uh, it's it's a battery here so as for those who don't know what kinetic uh, is it, it's like uh, it has a rotor and it has a battery there which is powered up by the movement of the rotor so it's like when you shake your hands the battery will charge so it's like a hybrid type of movement and the the power reserve will last up to four years according to the seiko website if you're able to charge this uh battery for uh fully so it will last up to four years so but i have not done that and every time i pick up this watch is always dead so i don't know i did not i did I, i'm not wearing this much so uh the thickness i don't know the thickness i'm sorry about that but it's the, the strap it goes along with is not its original strap i think it goes with a leather band that but i'm not a fan of leather bands this was this strap is from a timex uh, intelligent quartz i forgot that the number but if as you can see on the buckle it's written there is timex so i love this combination because the the gmt hand here has a red deep orange like reddish like color which is uh, matching with a strap the only thing is that the buckle is black and uh, this is obviously still so I don't mind that because I don't usually see the buckle. It's underside the wrist. So it's fine. So let us look at the face. As you can see, this is a forehand uh, movement. The GMT with a red tip with a skeletonized uh, hand. The the ha our hand and the minute hands are silverish, uh, high polished as well as the needle like uh, second hand which i think most of the time uh hits the minute markers and i'm happy about that it's not always always perfectly hitting the the minute markers but almost and it's a good thing uh to have that and uh if you can see the 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 our markers are also polished and beveled and it 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 uh, plays beautifully with the light so depending on on how the light struck strikes the in those indices it gives a nice reflection as well as the hands so they are matching really and uh, on the inner circle of this face is the 24 marker from two then uh, then dash four so every two hours they have placed the numerals or the texts and uh, if you can see that the inner face or the inner surface has some uh, vertical stripes there which is very which is very subtle you cannot really see it from afar but if you look into the details and you, you look uh, intently there you can find that it has some vertical stripes right there and the hour or the the date the date is located at the three o'clock position as well as the uh the crown the crown is not is it signed it's not signed it's not screwed down it has a pusher here 
And I'm so sorry, I forgot what this is all about. If I press this, the second hand will stop. And with forward, I don't really know why. It has a function for sure, but I'm sorry, I forgot what it's for because I've not been wearing this watch for a long time. So on the on the dial again, let's go back to the dial on the 12, at, uh, below the 12 o'clock marker is the text Seiko in big fonts. And then uh, above the six, O'clock marker is kinetic, GMT, 100 meters, Japan. Yeah, some writings there that I cannot really read. So uh, the bezel is, of course, fixed and uh, highly polished. The sides are, they are all polished, highly polished. Yeah, so it's beveled here and there. it's like roundish. So as you can see from here, the lug is 20 because this rubber strap is 20. So the backside we have seen earlier is a see-through case back with, with a rotor there, Kinetic Japan. And it's nice always to see the, the, inner, uh, the inner side of the watch. Oh. Then Seiko and so on and so forth. Those things about the watch are written there. I'm not also sure if this is a sapphire crystal and uh, I think it's not because there's no sapphire written here at the back. Uh, what else can I say about this watch? So, you know, I, I started to wear this watch again because of those SSK, SSK watches that are very hot nowadays. It this Those SSK watches are not yet available here in Qatar so I I settle for this for now but once they are available I think I'm gonna get one of those I'm, and I still don't know which one to get the black the blue or the orange but for now I'm beginning to appreciate this watch because of the hype that has been going on for around two or three months already at least I have a GMT which is also from Seiko so I'm happy about that let me show you how it wears on the wrist. Uh, I love the combination of this orange strap. That's why I have placed it. It's like, that's what they call like a summer watch uh, because of the strap, the orange strap, which is super cool in my opinion. So wrist roll from Tamex to Seiko. There you go, the Seiko Kinetic GMT. It's so nice. Uh, it's a little bit tricky how to adjust the time. Here I will not show you how you can watch other videos because it, it will take more time for me to film this uh, mini review of, of this watch. But you can find, just type the model number, you can find how to adjust the, the the watch the timing on this watch so that's uh, that's about it about this seiko kinetic gmt i hope you like this video i thank you once again all of you for subscribing to this very humble channel until now i am still amazed that some people are subscribing to this channel yeah so i appreciate thank you very much for watching see you again on my next vid bye bye